Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So today I want to talk about why, why activations happen, why an awakening happens and why so many people are going through awakenings now. What does it mean and, and how do we shift through it? How do we try and understand it from the mind, which really I can explain some, but really... When you are on an awakening journey, this journey is an inner journey. It is felt within. While ever you are trying to understand an awakening and what you go through in awakening um, from a mind aspect and just read and absorb and watch, then without doing any internal work, yourself then you keep looping so you're probably now questioning well why am I even listening to you then cat why am I listening why should I why should I listen to you well why should you I mean really switch off now and go and do the inner work what I am here to do is to help you self-inquire to give you the tools so you can go within and find your true God essence, your true source energy, your original soul blueprint. That's my work. Can I give you a step-by-step -step map, treasure map, back to your own treasure? Well, I can give you the compass. I can give you the map. I can show you how to work your own inner compass. I can show you how to work your map. I can give you the tools of how to delve deeper into your true north. But really, the journey, once you have all the tools, is for you to put down the books and for you to go within. You see, we're going from an old, dense um, template into the new, the new structure, the new earth. And this new earth is beyond the ego self. You see, we have lived for centuries in a very ego associated. You have identified with the ego mind. You believe that you're listening to cat. You believe that I am this body. You believe that I've got brown hair. I've got green eyes. You believe that that is cat. But really, who I truly am and who you truly are is source, is soul. And soul has no preference. Soul just is. Soul is just vibrant. And soul connects back to source energy. And that's why when we talk about unity consciousness... Unity consciousness means that we know that it's a little bit like nature. Nature knows that it is, well, it doesn't know, it just is, connected to everything. It's like the ocean. Where does the ocean end, you know, from one ocean to the other? A lot of the time it just merges in. It is just oneness, isn't it? Whereas we have been living in a world of, Oceans, streams, oceans, you know, the North Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And it's completely separate and two will never, ever cross. That is not where we are now as a universe. As a universe, we are beyond time and space. You see, before, it was all about serving self. So we would go out, we would go and do a job, we would work 40, 50-hour weeks, and we would come home with a paycheck. And we'd maybe, you know, be able to buy a house, maybe be able to buy a car, maybe have one holiday a year. And it was service to self. Where we are now... We are aligning to divine source energy. And when we are aligned to divine source energy, it activates that heart chakra. It activates it 
in a massive way. So we can only step into service to others. Service to others is a very different way of showing up in the world. So we, we lead from a place of instead of I'm going to do this job, you know, it's what I thought I wanted to do, but I don't really want to do it anymore. <sighs> you know, it's, thank God it's Friday. You know, I remember when I was in service to self and I remember going, oh, thank goodness it's Friday. Now... I, I I no longer even understand that concept. That concept no longer vibrates within my energy system. Why? Because I'm in service to others and service to others, there is no constraint. There is no... Ugh. Because you do it from a place of heart chakra. You do it from a place of soul. When you show up, you show up with this this heart chakra that is expanding. Now, the mind and ego might go, oh, that doesn't just fit with so. But when you're in heart space, when you're showing up in service to others, in your heart space, when you know that this journey and what you are here to do from a soul level is bigger than mind and ego, you will always be shining your bright your light really bright. And so you then shift into a place of being highly connected with soul, with source. And so it no longer needs to be written down. It no longer needs to have rules and needs to be hard work. It's a place of coming and shining your light out. And I really do believe, you know, when people are activated on this journey, when people start to shift through the ascension process, no longer are you there to do that normal job, that 40, 50 hour week or, and a job that no longer brings you joy, no longer brings you light. You're here to be of service. To, to divine, to source energy, to help shift the planet into this new way of being where we vibrate in abundance, where we vibrate from a place of heart chakra. And so as once you are activated on this journey, it activates you and that, that Shakti energy starts to dance up. It activates you at every level. It activates all your chakras. It activates, you know, I mean, we often talk about just the seven chakras, but you have 72,000 little tiny vortexes spinning around your body. And these little vortexes of your life force energy, once you are activated on this journey, they are activated and they are pulsing. Now, if you are doing things that no longer serve your soul, no longer serve your heart chakra, those vortexes become sluggish and slow and everything feels really dense and heavy. And that's when you, be, you can get into that cause and effect and that victim energy of, oh, is it Friday yet? You know, thank God it's Friday. Where if you start to come from a place of, I'm just here to shine my light out. I'm here to help and make a difference in this world. Then those little vortexes are like, and they're shining their light. They just want to vibrate out. And so when anything is a bit lower, a little bit more dense in your that comes maybe into your frequency, it's repelled really quickly. And so you no longer feel that heavy, that, you know, everything is hard work and everything is just, ugh. Instead, you, you're here and you know you're here to make a difference in the world. 
And as once you are activated on this journey, you become really empathic. And um, by that, I mean, you become, you know, you see the world through different eyes. How you look is different. You know, how you vibrate is different because you are activated. That once dormant energy, that once serpent Shakti energy that was just dormant, just sleeping, suddenly becomes activated. Suddenly you are activated at every level. And you can no longer do those old false ways. You have to be authentic to self. You have to be in that abundant flow state. There is no getting away from it. You can try and do the old 3D matrix world, but it won't work. It will feel really, really uncomfortable. Why? Because it's low, dense energy. And as an empath, you need to go and feed your soul. You need to spend, you know, time nourishing yourself as well in meditation, going out in nature. You will see nature and hear nature in a completely different way. The way the clouds move will mean different things to you. The way a blade of grass looks, the green, the, the strength of the green of the grass, <laughs> the green of the grass, but the colour, you know, will look so much more vibrant. You will want to like suck it in. When you hear the birds, they will tweet in such a beautiful song. You will hear the little furry four-legged four creatures. You will hear them more. Everything will feel more intense. Why? Because you are seeing the world as creation itself. Because that is what is activated in you. You become source energy. You are activated so vibrantly on this journey that everything that is being expressed out of you is source, is source energy. And people will often say, you know, I, I started to feel my Claire's that I'd always worked with sort of started to change. Why? Because you are no longer working on an astral level. You are now connected to divine source energy, to oneness. And that is the journey. You are on a journey of collapsing polarity and dualarity down and shifting into source one energy. And when we shift into this energy, mass no longer even exists. Singularity is oneness. Even me speaking right now is dualarity because I'm putting it into form. And this journey that you are on, on an awakening journey, is activating you at every single level into collapsing into that oneness, into that all. And you know, often people will say, Kat, I am, I am now in service to others. That heart activation is so big. I know that I'm here to be a part of change, to be that lighthouse, to be that lighthouse where people are lost at sea and feeling alone and feeling like nothing in their world is making sense. I'm here to be that lighthouse. I'm here to be that change. I'm here to do things differently. And I've said this before, but I work with so many incredible people that get activated on this journey. They come and work with me one-to-one -one and then they start to tell me about what they've done, but where they want to make tweaks and start to really like step in, step into being that lighthouse in such an incredible way. And it just, it makes my heart expand because we're here to change. We're here to bring the new earth and the new earth it's not, it's not another earth. <laughs> it's here and now. It's how we 
create that worth, that world, how we allow reality to speak through us, how God essence or, you know, whether you sometimes people go, I, I hate the God word cat, but it, it, it God oneness, source, it all means the same thing. Guru, whatever, it all means the same thing. It means love, it means abundance, and it means to shine that light. It means oneness of all, of all creation. And if you feel that you are here to create change now, now is the time. Don't allow the ego and the mind to control you of, why you can't do something, why you should, you know, not do it. And, you know, in my, in my soul coaching course in there, you know, I, there's like 14 hours of just coaching, just about how to, how to show up, how to, um, really make a massive difference. But then there's hours and hours of additional coaching on how to grow that soul-led business, but from a place of being heart-centered, from a place of service to others, from a place of you're on an awakening journey, and this is about unity consciousness. This is about shifting in and not only bringing abundance, uh, abundance and love into your life at every single level, but also in others. You know, I'm in that course as well. I, I teach a lot about passive income because I believe passive income is, is, is the way, is the new, is the new way of working, is the new way of guiding, is the new way of helping. And it's not to work 50, 60 hour weeks where we're on our back, where we've spent no time with our family, where we've spent no time with our friends, where we've spent, and this is the most important part, no time on on you, on you, on coming back to your true essence. And so passive income in there, I show you how to create passive income, which frees your time up. So you make money while you are sleeping, while you are out in the woods, while you are in nature. And so you then be, you're able at that point, because you're not coming from a place of serving self and going, oh my God, I need to, because passive income allows you to shine your light out and to be really heart centered without being service to self. Service to self is living in that fear energy, you know, feeling like you need to work hard in order to earn money. And, you know, money isn't coming easy to you. But when you shift in and, and do the techniques of what I guide on and what I teach on, then you become service to others. Then you become abundance energy. And guess what? When you shift into service to others, when you shift into that abundant mindset and that open heart chakra, guess who is listening? Guess who is listening? The universe. And the universe matches your energy. I'm going to do another video on this. But if you need any more help and support, and if you're ready, if you're like, God, Kat, I am ready. I have done this job that I have loved, but it's been a job and I'm tired of working 40, 50 hour week, weeks with, you know, rules and regulations where I can't really make a difference to somebody's life. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day and they were talking to me about their daughter and how their daughter was really, 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 really mentally suffering. And at a very, very big level, I'm talking big level. And she was told that um, she needed just to go and get some A4 paper and just stick the A4 paper, a pack of A4 paper and stick that there to when her daughter was really struggling and instead of doing things that might cause harm, to rip up paper. And she'd been told this over and over again and it broke my heart. 
Her daughter is really mentally struggling. Is her daughter, is ripping up some paper, it makes me emotional now, is ripping up some paper really going to help her child? No. <laughs> Bearing in mind what her daughter is doing. No, it's not. But there's, but we are, we have so many rules and regulations that it really stops us making a difference and helping people in the world. I spent a very short amount of time with that, that lady. Really, I, I met her virtually on the street. <laughs> you know, as it is where you just start chatting. And I talked to her about some other ways. Now, I was only, I wasn't in therapy mode. I was just in one mummy to another mummy mode of try this, go and search this up on the internet. This is what is going to start to help your daughter. The energy that she's feeling inside, she needs to express it in a certain way. And we talked about, you know, real cold water therapy and things like that. And this is what we we live in a society now that does not help people that are struggling. It is, it is so controlled by rules and regulations that actually we are failing. We are failing. So if you are here, and I know that some of you will be here that are listening because I work with such incredible people. I work with people that work with domestic abuse. I work with people that you know, that are nurses, that are surgeons, that are doctors, but also that are the hairdressers, that are the electricians, that are every type of person. But it is up to us to make a difference. And you're probably going, well, how does that hairdresser make a difference? How does that electrician? I've worked with the most incredible people. The people that are helping children, you know, with with cancer, that are, you know, chopping off hair and then transforming that that you know that hair into a wig and changing people's lives, you know, electricians, plasterers, plumbers that are going out there that are helping people that are homeless, that are transforming things into safe spaces that, you know, that they can feel safe and not on the street. So don't think just because it's not a da-da-da-da that you can't change somebody's life, that you can't make a difference. And it's not even about, you know, sometimes it's saying the most simplest word, that it's giving the most even listening that we change somebody's life. And that's when we shift into service to others. And that if you are on an awakening journey, if you are on an ascension journey, that's what this journey is about. It's a journey and, and you will know, you will know because the feeling will come deep within you and your ego mind might go, oh yeah, but what have I got to say? And what will people think? And what will people, you know, judge me as? That's not this journey. That's from a place of the old earth, of being associated with the ego mind of what will people think? Often people say, think as the ego of somebody sitting there going, oh, I'm, I'm all this, I'm all that. That's not the, the ego mind can also be that duality of I'm not good enough. Uh, you know, I've gone through all this myself. How can I really help others? And I really want to, I know this has been a really long video and I apologize, but I really do believe this is a really important video of um, the, if you're thinking, I've been through too much in my life to be able to help others, you are probably the ideal person to help others. Why? Because you, and I'm trying not to get emotional now, um, but I'm very passionate about this. You have overcome that obstacle. And by you overcoming that obstacle, it makes you the expert. Much love, many blessings.